So the story about my concussion is uh, I was with a couple of my friends and we were riding dune buggies on my friend's property. And um, I was in the back seat with no seatbelt or helmet on. And my friend who was driving flipped us like three or four times at 45 miles per hour. And I fractured my skull on the roll cage of the dune buggy and fractured my neck just from like the force of it. And I got like a severe concussion. I had bleeding like on the inside of my skull. And uh, they had to put me in a medically induced coma for like three or four days. And uh, I don't remember, I don't remember the whole day. And I don't remember like two weeks after it either. So yeah, that was the story. I think a helmet definitely would have helped the situation because I wouldn't have hit the, like my skull wouldn't have hit the roll bar. It would have been like the helmet. So that could have probably helped a lot. Should have been wearing one. Yeah. The first thing that my friends noticed, I don't, I don't remember what I noticed, obviously, but first thing my friend noticed is that I was like unresponsive for like 10, 15 seconds. And then it's like the second I woke up, I was like grabbing the back of my head and like saying that my head hurts. And also like they have videos of me repeatedly asking them what happened like over and over for the next like two hours of just like, I probably asked them like 50 times. Cause I just kept forgetting that I asked them and then I'd ask them again. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely a lot more cautious now because of the accident. I always make sure I get my seatbelt on when I get in the car and I always make sure all my friends put their seatbelts on when they get in my car. Cause I mean, it's a good thing to do. It would have saved me a lot of trouble if I had just put my seatbelt on. I, I could definitely tell this one was worse than my previous ones just because of like the recovery time. Like I wasn't allowed to have my phone or like look at TV or read anything for like two weeks. I just had to lay on my back on the couch. And uh, I just remember feeling like so out of it and weird for like a really long time. And so like just measuring by that, it's it's definitely, I can definitely tell it's been a lot worse. That one was than the other ones, yeah. So stuff that has happened to me because of the head injury, uh, I don't have feeling in my fingers anymore, which is kind of weird. Like. Right after the head injury, I didn't have any feeling in these, not any of my fingers at all. I couldn't feel like temperatures. I couldn't feel like if something was like stabbing into it or anything. But uh, since then, I kind of have a tiny bit of feeling in these two fingers, like a little bit. But then my pinky and my ring finger, like I can, I'd say it's back up to like 70%. And my uh, neurologist said it's probably just nerve damage and it could take like a while to heal. So we're just waiting on that. And also the back of my head is like, super sensitive now like I've gotten hit back there really lightly and it may be like black out and uh when I'm sleeping I can't like lay on the back of my head or I get super nauseous and dizzy so yeah just some long lasting effects from the concussion